And I think I'm just gonna be a bit of a lunatic and see if we can just get him up and over. There you go, there you go. Oh yeah, look at a rock iguana on the rock. Now my hope is that I got every turtle out of here. If I didn't, he's gonna have Chinese turtle surprise. There's Slinks. There he is. Now watch when she sees him. She's like, yeah, no, I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Yeah, what's going on everyone? Nice and hot, rainy season has begun, the humidity is kicking, and John is back at the camp. Say hello to Jerry, everybody. There he is, the man who helped me build Slinky and Pinky's enclosure. And right now, you guys, oh, you can look back and just see what I got done here this morning. I had to get all the uh, Chinese box turtles out. We had to get a tub in there, level it out. Just a real simple tub for him to drink and soak in if he chooses. Uh, the cool thing is, is Bobby Rubino's up here right now. And Bobby is going to get to see, say hello to Bobby, everyone. You see him up there? Bobby is gonna actually get to see what he will become one day. Well, it's up, tough guy. Yeah, there he is. He's such a tough black throat, but you ain't seen nothing yet because John is a big boy. And uh, yeah, man, he's coming to live at the camp for a little while. Now, originally I was actually gonna uh, buy this animal off of Jerry, but I could tell, I could just see in his eyes that he didn't really wanna sell it. And to be perfectly honest, after what I spent on that enclosure, I don't want to. I don't want to spend any more money. But I'm always willing to help a buddy out. He can always stay over here. Sometimes. Yeah, he can have sleepovers. Uh, <laughs> very cool. So right now he had to grab him up, and I guess we'll just let him out and see if he'll come on out. But uh, there's John again, folks. You remember him, big beautiful black throat monitor. He's gonna hang out in here for a while, um, and we're also gonna bring over the female. Yes. And she's gonna go where Pinky, where Pinky used to was. live. Yeah. And the reason uh, we're doing that is because you're getting things ready for that black throat. You've had the black throat male. The male black dragon. That's right, that's right. The male black dragon, I keep forgetting. And um, what happened was uh, that guy's just been having a hard time uh, adjusting. He had the problem with his toes and you've been at the vet a bunch of time, wormed him, did a whole bunch of stuff. And he was getting shots every day. Yeah. I think that just overstressed him. So we need to get him into a big enclosure right. and just leave him alone. That's it, man. You know, we've done everything we could. Remember, um, I think my, my vet, uh, Dr. Gillen, he called it, uh, what did he call it? Oh man, something neglect, um, benign neglect, okay. I think was the term he used. We've done everything. Now it's time for that animal to decide, does it want to live? And um, to be perfectly honest with you, I spoke with uh, Tom Crutchfield, who, you know, love him or hate him, the dude knows a lot about reptiles. And I was asking him about this particular situation and he had said, hey, look, man, you gotta give that monitor a reason to want to live. And so I think giving it a big enclosure is gonna be sure. uh, a big deal for that. Um, so here he is, man, I don't know, is he gonna come out? It's been starting to rain a lot. Oh, look at him. I don't know, let's get you out. Come on, buddy. If we had an egg. Come on, buddy. <laughs> come on, don't get mad at me, just come out. He's not exactly as friendly as Slinks, but I do want him to come out, because I want to get this going. Here he comes. Come on, come on. We'll just get him out, and this way he can start wandering around his new enclosure. And he'll probably be here, I don't know, a few weeks, a month. I'm not 100% sure, but, We'll definitely let you guys know what's going on with him. In fact, yeah, we could just unscrew these. And get them on out the easy way. The bolts are gonna drop. All right, I'll be careful of them. This is fun. Hey man, I, I, this is good practice for me because, um, you know, when we get Bobby this big, hopefully he'll be friendly. <laughs> It'll be a totally different yeah. lizard. Yeah, John has so. been left alone his entire life. Oh, wow. He's okay. been fed and that's it. Cool. Hey, I'm excited, man. It's just fun to have uh, big black throats in, in the neighborhood. All right. There you go. Oh, John, don't look so sad. Now, we had him over here a few months ago when we were keeping him in uh, Buttercup's old... Uh, not old, but Buttercup's enclosure. Look at him, he's just like, uh... Hiding his face, yeah. it's funny. Yeah, don't, don't mess with me, feet, people. Come on, bud, get mm -hmm. out of here. Look, there's some nice sun for him to bask in. I think, uh, I'm gonna hand these to you, buddy. Okay. And I think I'm just gonna be a bit of a lunatic and see if we can just get him up and over. There you there go, you there you go. go. Come on. 
Oh yeah, look at a rock iguana on the rocks. I mean, I say iguana all the time, but I mean rock monitor. Because savannas, white throats, black throats, they're all considered, um, you know, rock monitors. And there he is, he's just looking around. Now, my hope is that I got every turtle out of here. Because if I didn't, he's gonna have Chinese turtle surprise, Chinese box turtle surprise, which I don't wanna have happen. But um, I'm pretty sure I did. I checked all the nooks and crannies and I haven't seen any hatchlings, so I think we're okay. But look at how beautiful he is. Oh my God, I love when they flare up like that. He can give you a good whip with his tail. Uh, the claws are very formidable and that big head, man. That animal can crush. That's what that head tells me. They have really powerful jaws. And in the wild, these guys will eat tortoises, smaller tortoises, so they are evolved to crush their prey. So um, big, beautiful reptile. And you know, it's funny, man. When I realized you had these guys, I was just geeked for you because you know, you don't see a lot of black throats. Look at him. He's all high walking. He's definitely had a little bit of a um, exciting 24 hours. I guess you put him in the kennel last night. Uh, I just closed the door to his other hide and set the kennel in there. So he just went in there to sleep last night. So Smart, I yeah. didn't make it stressful for him. That's awesome, man. You're pretty good like that, dude. Whew. So anyway, guys, we're going to just let him do his thing here. And uh, man, so amazing. Now, you know, eventually what's going to happen with this enclosure is I'm I'm going to want to get this thing dressed up. I can't have one amazing enclosure. I got to dress everything up, man. So, you know, I'll, I'll see if we can. Oh, of course, are you going to wedge your head back in there, bud? I, I specifically put it close there so that he couldn't get in there. So let's see what he's going to do. He could be looking for his girlfriend. Ah, that's right. She's always in little tight spots. That's funny, man. Well, I think what we're going to do is, you know, you had mentioned that you think it's time to separate them because... She um, needs to put weight on it. Right. Okay, so that's why we're going to put her in Pinky's old enclosure. And that's the cool thing, guys, is about having empty enclosures. Um, I love it because I can help a friend out, um, you know, or if, if there's an animal that needs the, the cage space, we've got it. And I always recommend keeping an enclosure open, keep one or two open, uh, so that you have the space and you're not really stressed out about where to put animals if you want to quarantine them or in any other kind of situation. Oh, good. He's going to look after this shed. Shh, he you is going to look beautiful. His foot, the, yep. The brilliant colors. That is pretty darn amazing. You see that, guys? They do have really nice colors. Oh, come on. He's going to have a look at that water, I think. Yeah, there you go. Under his leg, how yellow. Oh, yeah, it's so beautiful, man. Look at that guy. Just really cool to see the different um, types of monitors that are out there and each of them have their own you know their own idiosyncrasies and their own little um just behaviors and and colorations that make them so unique but the one thing that all monitors have is that inquisitive look um and i think the people who named monitors monitors got it right you know i mean this it really does fit the behavior of all of these lizards so very cool i love it man all right there you go people we got our little guy in here not so little <laughs> we're gonna wait uh i think jerry's gonna catch up the female here today and we'll probably put her in um, either later today or tomorrow whatever works out the best for him and uh yeah we'll keep you guys in touch uh hey jerry man you haven't been over since i put slinky in you want to go check it out I can't wait let's go check it. it out man this dude helped me build it um i mentioned it i already said thanks to him a million times so i'm not gonna go overly nerdy but thanks dude that was awesome uh anyway yeah he hasn't seen it done yet so i figured why not finish this video with a little look at the king and queen of the monitors here at camp can watch your head jerry you're a tall dude this thing will get you people if you ever visit watch your head you will hit it uh i need to put a sign up there but anyhow yeah man before we leave let's go wander over there and see just what's happening and i've been really thrilled man because uh i've not really seen him badgering the heck out of her and uh it's really been good like she's eating i've done a couple feedings already they've been eating um she'll eat she comes out she'll sunbathe she knows where her hide is and she's really good at evading slinky she's it, it's so fast she's fast and small and fits everywhere so let's see who's out. It had just rained, so maybe they're gonna come out. But what do you think, bud? I threw this topsoil down. 
I mean, we still got to get that Universal Rocks, um, you know, kind of cover. Oh, wow. They actually, where is everybody? What's cool about this, there's Slinky. He's in his house. Slinky! There he is. Yeah, you didn't see this. I made this real simple. We're going to dress it up with rock and stuff like that. But there's Slinks right there. There he is. Everyone was worried if he could fit through this hole. Um, of course he can. She's right behind oh, you. Oh, there she is. Yeah, see that guy? So she's out all the time. Now watch when she sees him. He just wandered out. She's right there. She's like, yeah, no, I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Twitching. Yeah, he's already going for it. You know, he gets all excited. But, um, but you can see like she's not like freaking out until he gets a little too close. And then that's when, <laughs> leave his head. Now, when he shows you that behavior, is he more defensive? No, the head. You. Oh, yeah. Well, I just yelled. You see him flare up? Um, not really. It hasn't really appeared uh, in that regard. Like, I haven't noticed that so much. Um, but uh, he does get this one track mind usually when he sees her. Look but how cool she is swimming to that water. Isn't that awesome, dude? It's pretty amazing. Yeah, she just. And now, look, she's, uh, you know, far enough away from him. She feels good. She doesn't freak out about me. She knows that I'm not necessarily the thing she's worried about. She knows I bring her food. So she's behaving nicely. My goal is though, to keep them both well fed. But look at her, she's going back over here and she'll just kind of, if she sees him, she'll probably see him. Look, he's gonna sunbathe a little. As soon as he sees her, he starts shaking her head. <laughs> but I don't think he's got enough energy to really chase her down, which is good. But what do you guys think? Should I make all my enclosures look this gnarly? This is awesome, huh? So that's what I want to do with um, the older enclosures. I want to really dress them up. And uh, luckily for me, I know some really good people that are willing to help out. So thanks, Jerry, for this. Oh man, you're the best, dude. I would never have built with cinder block. I never would have had the technical skills to get the block done and all the wood framing, the aluminum roof. I mean, this place really did come alive. All right, everyone, well, there you go. Another fun video. We got to babysit John. Let me know what you think of John in the comments below. Say what's up to Jerry and give him a thumbs up for helping me out. And uh, I will talk to you guys all real soon. Thanks so much. There you go, good looking. All right. She's looking good, man. See you guys. Yeah, she's looking real, man.